Welcome to the Word 2010 header and footer technique screencast. When headers and footers are inserted into a document, by default they are inserted on every page. However, using the options available in Word, you are able to create different headers and footers for different sections. A common example of this kind of technique for students is when page numbering a dissertation. The usual requirement is that page numbering doesn't start until several pages into the document and the first page numbered will be page 1. Using this scenario, the following screencast will demonstrate how to use options in Word in order to change headers and footers throughout a document. Using this pretend dissertation, we are wanting the first two pages of the document to have no page numbering and for the third page, the introduction, to start at page 1. In order to do this we need to use a section break. If you are unfamiliar with section breaks you may want to look at one of our previous screencasts, Word 2010 Section Breaks. Go to the page you want to be labelled as page 1 and click at the very start of that page, in this case just before the word introduction. Then in the page layout tab, select the breaks menu and select next page section break. This then separates the document into two sections. Now we can insert the page numbers. Click on the Insert tab, select the Page Number drop-down menu and select where you want the page number to appear. In this case I'm going to choose the bottom of the page and in the middle. As you can see, Word has now labelled the current page as page 3 as it is the third page in the document. This is because even though we have split the document into two sections using the next page section break, the two sections are linked together and the headers and footers are not independent of each other. In order to format the page numbers in each section independently of each other, you need to click the link to previous button once. This breaks the link between the two sections and allows you to edit the page numbers in each section independently. In order to start the page number and on the third page is page 1, you need to click on the insert tab, select the drop down menu for page number and select format page numbers. Under page numbering you need to click start at and select 1. As you can see the third page is now page 1. If you scroll further down the document it will follow on with page 2, page 3 and page 4. If we scroll up to the start of the dissertation, you can see that the page numbers are still listed in the first section of the document. This was because when we inserted the page numbers originally, the sections were still linked. We can now highlight the page number and delete it from the first section. If we scroll down the document, we can now see the first section of the document has no page numbering and the page number and starts on the third page as page 1, then on to page 2, page 3 and page 4. The same technique can be used for having any type of header and footer at various stages throughout any document. Thank you for listening to the screencast. If you have any comments or need any further help using header and footer techniques, then please get in touch in one of the following ways. Or if you have any suggestions for future screencasts, then please contact us, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.